TSL War took place on Saturday, June 22nd at Afton State Park, Minnesota. With awesome team strategies, brutal takedowns, and magnificent strikes, the light side takes on the dark side in a best of nine rounds war. Jacob Page, thank you for joining me, sir. Hey, thank you for having me. You're in from New Jersey. The New Jersey Charter. Dueling Devils. The Dueling Devils. Mm -hmm. I didn't. I didn't actually know that was yeah, what New Jersey what was called. called. So is this your first time in Minnesota? It is actually. All right. Yeah. All right. Excellent. <laughs> what have uh, What have you been enjoying most about the festivities so far? The fact that even though the dark side cheats, we still almost win. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Shots fired. Jokes aside, though, it's been fun. It's just getting to see people that I've interacted with online but never actually met, and now I'm seeing them in person. And it's kind of weird almost because they're like, hey, I see a Jacob Page. I'm like, I don't know who you are. Right, right, right. Yeah. Because <laughs> no. even though the profile, I have their profile picture, it looks nothing like what they actually appear as. So I'm seeing these people, I'm like, who are you? Because you <laughs> use the best picture of yourself for your profile picture, and that's usually not what you look like on a day to day basis. Unless you're me, my profile picture is my eyes closed and like it look like this. 
because that's really my natural status. Well, so, you know, I'm always sexy, so I'm, what you see in the profiles, what you see with me. I'm you are a handsome <laughs> man. You are a handsome man. So, um, are you going to be fighting in TSL4 this year? Or? I will be at TSL4. You will be yes. at TSL4. Yes. Is this going to be your first TSL tournament? It will be. Woo! First major Woo! TSL first tournament. First major. I did East Coast Brawl back in May. Okay. Fun. Okay. Okay. How, how was that? How did you like that? The tournament uh, feel? It gave me more confidence in myself than I thought, because I always think I'm like more mediocre, and I still think I'm mediocre, but now I'm like better mediocre, if that right. makes sense. Yeah, no, no, I got you, I got you. Yeah. You know, I always say I'm like a C student, but sometimes I raise up like a C plus, you know? Like, just, I like to say about average, because then no one expects feeling anything from you. Feeling pretty good B plus you. right now, a little, yeah. little level oh, down. Feeling yourself a little bit, B plus even. I don't know if I've ever gotten that high. But, um, man, thank you so much for coming hey, on, joining me. It's been a pleasure, man. Take it easy, guys. Have a good one. Everybody clap your hands. Watch the camera. Double. Watch the camera. <laughs> yep, watch the camera. Get out of the DMZ. Get out of the DMZ. You're in the DMZ. Move You're still that way. in the DMZ. Lateral. Move laterally. Watch behind you, Tanner. No, we're good now. We should. Oh yeah. Forgot about that one. Campus, I got that. That was beautiful. Wild Terry. I love it. Watch your guard. Back with another interview, we got uh, Jamal with me. I, I mean, oh, <laughs> Jamil with me. Sorry, bro. I, I told you I'm good with names, right? I mean, I said I'm so good at it. Clearly, clearly. First time coming up to Minnesota. I know. We, we talked last night. Me and him got 
to, uh, to chat at the gathering last night. We so. got Swifty. Yeah, we did. We I always get Swifty. I mean, that's how I, I live Swifty. You know, <laughs> I mean, that's a that's a way of life, right? Most definitely. Um, most definitely. You're over from Detroit, born born in New York. Just he, Detroit transplant. You know, he doesn't want to be. He's not repping Detroit. Just he's from New York. Correct? Yes. I got it. Um, how are you enjoying today's event, man? Man, it's fantastic. I'm learning a lot, and I'm getting a lot of experience just from being able to fight with an entire group of people to be able to cooperate and collaborate tactics. You know what I mean? And when anything happens, to be able to sit on the field and analyze everyone and everything around you and then change your tactic all together as an entire squad, it's been phenomenal. That been team fantastic. mentality that, you yeah, know, most like definitely, the, yeah. It, it is. It's, it's a different animal, you know? A lot of people, I think, uh, one of our other viewers saying in the beginning, everyone's kind of like thinking about just the individuals. Yeah, yeah, in right? the beginning, yeah, most and definitely. And as we grow, <laughs> you start to really think of your team as a totality and start checking on each other. Uh, so just watching the evolution just throughout today's event, I think that's one of them, well, been one of my favorite parts, too. Most definitely, for most sure. definitely. For sure. Have you got to spar with anybody that you're hoping to spar with in some of the downtime? Or? Um, I haven't sparred with anybody outside of who I've already sparred with, but I've, I know I've gotten better because I sparred with somebody from the Ohio Charter and I did better against them than I did in the past. <laughs> hey, some of the Ohio guys are beasts. I ain't gonna, you yeah, know, oh yeah, oh yeah, guys, oh yeah. They got it. Yeah. Um, so I heard a rumor that you got tricked into signing up for two <laughs> tournaments. Um, I mean, how do you get tricked into signing up for two tournaments? Okay, so there, so you know the people from the Ohio Charter, Oh yeah, right? I'm very familiar. I don't know if you know of Tanner. Um, handsome, last name handsome unknown. fellow. Right, right, he has the... Um, <laughs> he might be joining us at another point, another dark side, one of your dark side teammates. Hey, one of my dark side teammates. Yeah. He's actually on my squad with the Pikes when, we, when I was on the Pike team. Okay. And we called ourselves the Meat Blenders because we would sit there and... Yes, <laughs> I like it. I like it. But, uh, you know, he looked at me with his googly eyes and he's so cute, you know what I mean? <laughs> so he looked at me with his googly moogly eyes and he said, you don't want to fight in the tournament with me? You should fight in the tournament with me. And I said, okay, little did I know, I thought I was signing up for one tournament. He signed me up for Standard and Exotics. <laughs> Uh, yeah. So you have now Tanner Martin to thank for your TSL 4 adventure that is about to partake you in early August. Most definitely, most definitely. Oh, thank man. you, Tanner. Uh, well, Jameer, Jameer, Jamal, 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 J A H hyphen hyphen M A U L, Jamal, Jahal. Yup, Jahal. Jamal. I'm a Jahal you out of this, out of this. Thank you so much part. for joining me. <laughs> no problem. Thank you. Carlos is by himself! Yeah. Ryan! Yeah. David! Yeah. Shit! Yeah. 
Get in there, guys. I went to the same staff and I Back with another interview here at TSL War. Uh, I was graciously joined by Mr. Tanner Martin, the aforementioned Tanner Martin. If you were watching our previous interview, um, thanks for joining me, man. Uh, drove up from Ohio last night. Yep. How was the drive? Twelve hours, pretty long. It like, yeah. wasn't bad as like you split it between you know four people. So I mean, three hours each. It's tolerable. It's doable, yeah, but it's, it's doable. still twelve it's hours bad. in a car. It's twelve hours in a car. Yeah. Regardless of your driving or riding, it's still yeah. twelve hours in a car. How are you liking the uh, war? It was it was really fun. It was like uh, getting to fight all these people that you normally don't get to see all the time. It's like that was great, and then plus the different tactics of, uh, you know, coming together as a group and then fighting each other. It was like totally different than one-on-one -on -one fighting. Yeah, very much different yeah. than what you're used to on that straight line, mm -hmm. looking at that one person. I mean, we've done some training together when I was in Ohio for some job stuff. Tanner was nice enough to be patient with me and try to teach me some footwork and striking stuff. Although I struggled mightily. Uh, and luckily there's no footage of that, so you'll just have to take my word for it. Um, what, so going back to the tactics, what are some of the tactics that you feel are probably working in the dark side's favor right now? And maybe some that you guys have tweaked since the start. Um, I was like, once we started using the, the pike squad effectively by putting them in the back, and just kind of helping out in zones that were like under pressure. I was like, with the pike, I was like, it draws a bunch of attention. So you can start to pull people in a dark direction and have everybody else kind of charge them at the side. I was like, it really throws everybody off. Um, but yeah, I was like, the pike is just, it's, it's, it's the it, pike. It's, it's the, the pike. pike. It, it, it works. It's the pike. <laughs> so now I do have to ask you, so going back to my previous interview, uh, there's a story going around that you tricked poor Jamal into um, uh, signing Jamil? up for two, <laughs> signing, whatever, whatever his name is, um, signing up for two different tournaments. How'd you pull that off? I was like, well, it was like he, he is going to be there anyways. So I mean, you know, if you're going to be a part of the TSL family and you're going to be at Las Vegas, you might as well fight. You gotta do something. Yeah, I was yeah. like, you know, uh, Jamil may not be the best fighter in the world, but I mean, it's it's the effort that's you know putting forth. I was like, Definitely. that's what we're about. I was like, it's not about you know always winning. It's about you know coming together and fighting each other. He says you batted those beautiful hazel eyes at him, and that and that's how he uh, <laughs> and that's how he submitted to the, your uh, um, tricking him into signing up for that. Uh, true or false? It's probably true. Yeah, I definitely use that for my advantage sometimes. Confirmation of what Jamil <laughs> said. So. Um, that, that I, I don't. That's it. We can't do anything more than that. Tanner, thank you so much, man. Yep, no uh, have good of the rest yep. of the war. Oh, 
I went a little bit more terrible. The thing is that definitely does it. Yeah, you can get that guy. Watch the center, guys. Watch the center. Bring it back in. Candice Blaschke, mm -hmm. did I nail it? Nailed it. Oh, I'm so good with names. As everybody who watches CSL knows, I am a master of names. Um, so, uh, how long have you been in TSL? Uh, one year. About a year? About a okay. year. What charter do you come out of? Uh, Masasi, Maryland. Maryland, one of the Mar oh, <laughs> a newing uh, disciple. Jason's Maryland, right? Yes, Newman? Jason is part yeah, of Maryland. Yeah, yes. okay, okay. He's the most he's the person I'm most familiar with okay. out of the Maryland Charter. So plus he held the belt at one point, so you know. Um, is this your first time in Minnesota? This is my first time in Minnesota. And obviously since this event has never happened before, it's the first time doing this. How are you liking today's event? It is very entertaining. Uh, we're taking a break right now and should be getting back up there. It's very entertaining to see how fighters are evolving and getting smarter throughout the battle. We started off with a lot of people who were very tunnel vision, only seeing the fighter in front of them, and now we're starting to see people work and separate the angles out of the fight. Yeah, that's, I mean, that, <laughs> I, I couldn't put it any better. That was, I, I knew I needed to talk to you. They, a lot of people told me I needed to talk to her. So, and this is clearly why they said that. Yeah. Um, Go into some of the tactics. What have you guys on the light side, because they won't see this until after. Mm -hmm. What do you guys have been noticing, maybe some of the tactics that's been working better for you guys as a group, and maybe some of the tactics that you thought would work better going in that haven't? So, we have not been able to bait them into what we would call a killing cup, where we deviate the center to allow them to funnel in so that we get numerical blade advantage and reach advantage by pulling them into that cup. Mostly what we've been seeing is a weak center, you're looking at the flanks, and the two flanks pick out until you get one or two of the right strategic kills, and then you're going to see either flank envelop or run straight down the line, which is what happened in that last battle. We had one fighter who got in and hit everybody straight on the 180 in front and made it about halfway across the line before people clued in that he was coming straight out of their line of vision. Wow. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's it is. It's been one of those. It's a cat and mouse game, really. Yes, you know, it is. Yes. It's both sides are trying to get the other side to do what they want to do. And you know, I think I, when I talk to the dark side, they'll probably echo a lot of the same sentiments that you guys that you've had in this one. So I mean, awesome, awesome. Um, are you gonna be at TSL four this year? I am not. I would be ah. at a different war at that time. A different war at that time. All right, I like it. Kind of a little mysterious too. Well, Candace, thank you so much for joining no me. Enjoy the rest of war. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Back up, back up. 
On your left. Cross. Keep pushing, Mark. Watch the Good. 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 No, his arms, Eric. Go no, on. One, one second. Arms. Can you fix my gear phone? Two arms. Oh. Two arms. Say dark side's got this one. Oh. 
Like, oh, these are the ones we can agree on. Then I presented it to the Bay Area, and they're like, well, we want to be the sun swords and stuff like that. And it's like, no, okay. So we're staying the Ewoks. We're staying the Ewoks. Interesting. Yeah. All right. Are you recording? I, I started rolling oh, already. All right, well, I was like, I'm, that was an interesting uh, I'm back with story. another interview. I got uh, Mr. Mark Carrico here. Uh, just a little pre-interview chat that we were nice enough to catch. Uh, thanks for joining me, man. Um, came out for war. Mm -hmm. We appreciate you coming out. How have you liked it? Uh, it was good. Yeah. What did you like? Uh, what did you like about the, the war itself? Um, I thought it was. It's always a good fun to have a group fight because uh, it's not as like hyper competitive. You know, there's less hurt feelings. There's a lot more just fun. And if you die, then you're just going to be back next round. Right. So, yeah. uh, I think that was the best part. Other than that, it's it's interesting to see how people try and adapt the, uh, their one on one techniques to a group battle. Like, I, that was my predominant background before I started with TSL. I was with a different saber fighting group that did uh, group fights all the time. Okay. And so, like, you know, for me, it's it's another day, you know. But uh, it's interesting to see a lot of the people who are, like, solely duelists trying to, you know, defend against, like, three or four people at a time. So, but that, That's been a common theme, I think, through a lot of the fighters mm -hmm. I've talked to today is, is having to change tactics yeah. or just the realization of having to use tactics right. during this match you know yeah. so that's i think that's a that's a very uh universal thing here so uh are you this this little gear up warm up for tsl4 a little bit yeah i'll be there um it's uh putting some things through a proof of concept i got a new yari i'm trying out you know um i actually have a new set of gear but it didn't fit in my bag okay so uh so yeah. this is almost a little testing ground for you as well huh yeah Nice, yeah, no, definitely. nice. And you're one of the few people I talked to that actually had experience fighting in groups mm -hmm. before. So do you guys think that you guys as this dark side, I think, worked a little bit better as a team, more rounds than, than, the, than the light side? Right. Um, I feel like we had a little bit more experience on that side, and we had, um, we had the, squad, or the squad captains or leaders or whatever uh, had a little bit more control. Um, you know, there were... There were some suggestions made that were we, people were talked out of, um, and it came down to squad control. Whereas uh, the light side, at least from what I could see, you know, they stayed online better, but they didn't have the control that you know the hands-on control that we had on the dark side. Yeah. And I think that um, being able to you know call and shift one person isn't really effective in this situation. Uh, but on the dark side we were calling over to one person who would shift a squad. Yeah, I'd, I had noticed kind of even before war started, I said, man, the light side's got a lot of our, uh, some of our more characters, mm -hmm. some of the more jokester guys, uh, and the dark side had a lot of the serious guys on it. You being one of them, I mean, you know, you're, you're a lighthearted guy, you have fun with it, but yeah. when you're out there, you are locked in. <laughs> you're one that I'm definitely looking for in, come, in TSL4 coming up um, to you. do well. Are you get, how many uh, tournaments are you gonna do? Um, I'm going to be doing the tag team, the standard, and the exotic. Awesome. So. Awesome. Well, uh, Mr. Mark Carrico, thank you for joining me. Look for him at TSL4. It's always a pleasure, man. We'll see you later. Round seven. Look at the section!
I mean, it was an effective tactic. I don't quite agree with it, but it was effective. Well, if it was Simon, then keep going. No, doubles don't count. Yeah, doubles don't count. Keep going. Carlos is it? That's it, TSO War. It's over. That was the final round. Uh, just got done a little while ago. Amazing. Mr. Tom Amoroso is joining me for my final thoughts and uh, kind of my wrap up piece here. You had an amazing line slash run. How many people did you take out coming down that line? It was at least eight to ten. Like you just at saw, least. like you just at saw least. in the last round. If you've been watching, he come around. He came around the uh, what was it? The right side around of the, the line. The right side. Yep. And he cut straight down in front of the whole light side army. Saber out, just tapping shoulders and helmets the whole way. It, it was. I'm not gonna say questionable tactics oh, no, in no, a no, friendly, no. It was, it but was, it was on the fringe uh, of the rules. Let's be it was definitely. Honest. Oh, right. that's what I said. It's, you, that's a gray area yep, right there. Yep. But I respect it. I respected the hell out of it. Uh, did you come up with that on the fly? Was that something you had planned? Tell me how that came about. That was on the fly. We talked a lot. We tried a few things earlier in earlier matches about getting singles up the edge and trying to divide and conquer and pulling, you know, a few of their line because their line was super strong. They right? were super strong. So we're trying different tactics to kind of break their line. And a couple times before that we tried, let's let's send somebody, I'll send up the hill or Ryan run up the side. And we had some success of it, but, but we were we were in their face with it. We were running up the hill, so they knew we were coming. And this time I'm like, you know, we got 14 out there, we can have 15, so that's legal. I'm just gonna walk casually up the side of the line. They're focused on the group, they're not focused on the individual. And I'm like, I was gonna try to see how far I could get before they would see me. And I walked to their line and nobody sees me. Well, you so engaged like, like two people. Yeah, well, but that was, I like, I wasn't going to engage anybody at first, but then, like, because I thought they were going to come at me and just, it was just going to be a, you know, a little group join the red line with everybody else. I walked past and no one engaged. I'm like, ooh, all right, I'm already past their line. So now as I went in, I engaged two of them and just said, like, bing, 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 bing. And I was like, well, now I got an opportunity. I was just run with it and just ran across That's the That's awesome. That it, it I love fun. how that came about. So how did yeah. you love, what did you think of war as, as a total? This was good. We, we you know, it, it's, it's unprecedented, right? We've never done this type of event before to this size, this scale, and this intensity level. And uh, so we all were curious. Right? We didn't know how yeah. it was going to go. Yep. Uh, it was slow to start, rightfully so. We wanted to make sure we kind of get our feet under us, but it went really well. I think so too. Yeah. I, uh, they said this was a one-off, but I, I I don't know about that. We'll I think, see. I we think people will. will we ask will for see. It. We yeah. will. We will see what the future holds. But honestly, it was a great event. It was a great day. Um, the camaraderie, just everything that TSL is known for, was on full frontal display here all day. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the battles. Uh, until the next time, Thor from Basement White Banner, Sabre Legion, United Through Sabres, hashtag TSL Company Picnic, hashtag TSL War. We're out of here. Deuces.